Hi coffee friends, today we are going to show you a video on our tour to a genocide center in Cambodia or the killing fields. Cambodia is a product of a very dark past. There was a time when this country experienced a nationwide genocide. That's why a place like the killing fields exists in Cambodia. For us to understand Cambodian genocide, we must first understand the Cambodian civil war. Today, let's talk about history of Cambodia very quickly before we proceed to the Genocide Center. In 1953, Cambodia gained independence from France, power given to Prince Sihanouk. In 1954, Vietnam is freed from French rule. Citizens divide into Communist North Vietnam and Pro-Western South Vietnam. This was the start of civil war. However, King Sihanouk of Cambodia remains neutral. In 1964, America allies with the Republic of Vietnam or the South Vietnam to fight communism in the North Vietnam. In 1970, Lieutenant General Lon Nol of Cambodia formed a coup d'etat, overthrows Sihanouk while he was not around and becomes President of Cambodia. Sihanouk and his loyal followers ally with the Communist Party Khmer Rouge, led by Pol Pot. Pol Pot and Sihanouk ally with the Communist North Vietnam, while Lon Nol and the Khmer Republic ally with South Vietnam. This was the start of the Cambodia Civil War. Pol Pot then abandoned Sihanouk, having only used him to gain a stronger following. Khmer Rouge begins to impose its military force on the Khmer Republic, starting on countryside, targeting the uneducated ones. U.S. begins secret bombings of Vietnamese sanctuaries in Cambodia. Farmers leave the cities to escape. 1973, America withdrew from the war. 1975, now that the Americans are no longer in the scene, North Vietnam ceases Saigon. Khmer Rouge defeats Khmer Republic. Pol Pot then overthrows Lan Nong resulting Khmer Rouge to have total control of Cambodia. This was the start of the Cambodian Genocide. After seizing power in April 1975, the Khmer Rouge wanted to turn the country into a socialist agrarian republic. To fulfill its goals, the Khmer Rouge emptied the cities and forced Cambodians to relocate to labor camps in the countryside, where mass executions, forced labor, physical abuse, malnutrition, and disease were rampant. By January 1979, 1.5 to 2 million people had died due to the Khmer Rouge's policies. The victims were imprisoned and were taken to the killing fields, where they were executed and buried in mass graves. And we book a tuk-tuk crab.
I'm done. Pero yeah, for the sake of experience. Saka malayo lagi naman, hindi ko lalakarin. Mas mura na to kaysa mag grab car. Diba? Oo. Kaysa doble yung kano yun. Ano, nababother ka ba? Nababother ako kung makakapasok ba ako. Bawal okay. daw yung exposed back. Hindi naman exposed. Mahapan ang hair ko, di ba? Uh, <laughs> yung shorts lang. Yung shorts kasi, lang. Above the knee. Ano. Pero we'll try. I think it's advisable na magtukto kasi the streets are quite narrow. Oo. Uh -oh. mm, kung halimbawa mas malaki sa akin, baka mas mahirapan kayo. So, At saka, ano, advice ko rin sa girls, lagi kayong magdadala nito. Kasi skirt. may mga dress code sa ibang places. Parang yeah. medyo conservative. So, yun, we will try to go in. Yeah, <laughs> baka pwede naman ito, di ba? Sabi kasi, just try na lang yun. Ito, nabasa lang namin. Exposed pa, at saka shorts. Parang sobrang iksi naman yung shirt yung nasa picture eh. So, we will try eh. Pwede ka naman. Pwede daw. Pwede daw. <laughs> Ilagay mo na sa likod mo yung bag mo. Huwag ka na matakot. Oh. Good English. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Oh, what is that for? The player. Can you just store it here? Sorry? So it is in you, just like this. That's one. That's one. That's Dito na kami sa loob ng center and we were given this headset and and this device. So what does it do? Kitindutin mo lang tapos magsasalita eh. Oh, okay. Para siyang electronic na ano. Electronic tour guide. So at least we have something to listen to. So ayan, kapag ka nandito tayo let's say sa start, pwede mong pindutin yung number doon sa may device. Ayan, pipindutin mo lang siya. Tapos from there, maririnig mo kung ano yung meron sa lugar na to.
years din na nagtagal yung pamumuno ng leader na yun. Pero, mm-hmm. ang daming namatay. Ano bang reasons ng pagpatay na yun? Bukod sa false accusations. Ang ginagawa kasi nila, parang yun yung sa leader nila is cleansing daw. Kaya yung mga intellectual, hinuhuli nila kasama yung mga priest. Tapos, yun, i-persecute sila. Papaaminin sila sa kasalanan nila na hindi naman nila ginawa. Tapos, pag umamin sila, kunwari palalayain sila pero papatayin pa rin sila. So, wala kang choice. Pag hinuli ka, patay ka na. Basta pag nahuli ka, by default. Oo. Okay. Okay. Ito raw itong lugar na to. Ayan. Dito raw dinadala yung mga trucks na kung saan, sa truck na yun, andun yung mga victims. Parating yung mga trucks, mga two times to three times a week. Tapos pagdala dito ng mga victim na nila, it's either diretso papatayin na, or i-dedetain sa malapit na piso. At kung lugar na dito din nadala yung mga victim na. Blindfolded sila sa kalakapan. This tree is called the Killing Tree. Mahal, bakit mo naisip ang pumunta dito? Sabi kasi sa pagkat puntahan daw natin. Mm. <laughs> Kaya hindi rin siya yung una natin pinuntahan kasi very disturbing siya. Siguro sa mga pupunta ng Cambodia, you have to prepare your heart if you want to go here. <laughs> Kasi medyo kagaya ng maraming countries, dark din ang past ng Cambodia. Pero parang malala dito. Malala nga siya. Hindi <laughs> ko ma-imagine yung idea na iahampas mo yung baby sa tree. Hawakan daw sa legs eh. Tapos iahampas mo yung ulo sa puno. Grabe. Tapos ang tanging reasons lang nila is ayaw nilang maghiganti yung bata pag lumaki. Kaya ng movies lang, di ba? Pero kahit sa movies, hindi ko nakita ang may hinampas na bata sa puno. On the lighter note, meron din tayong mabibili dito mga souvenirs and some, ano, some remembrance. Ayan. Magaganda rin po ang mga bags dito. Maganda ng owl. Ayan, yung owl. May ganito kong bag eh. Tapos malaki lang yun. Ang ano no, horror house. Tsaka napakalawak, napakalaki ng lugar. 